What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Gridlink, entitled Long Henna. This is released on Self Made God Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of New Jersey, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very technical, science fiction inspired style of grindcore. Now, there are a lot of bands within the grindcore world that emphasize themselves on technical guitar riffs, really clean production, and really elaborate storytelling. And to me, the main band that comes to mind for me when I think of stuff like that is Gridlink. I mean, this is a grindcore supergroup of some sorts because of the people who have been involved with this particular project over the years. I mean, bands like uh, Discordance Axis, Human Remains, Burnt by the Sun, Noisier, PLF, to name a few specifically. And uh, over the last couple of years, this band has really put out some very, very high-end material. Preferably the first two releases of Gridlink's existence, uh, Amber Gray in 2008 and 2011's Orphan. Both of those albums are the absolute real deal. For them being as short of as they are, I mean, Amber Gray was around 11 minutes in length, Orphan being about 20 seconds longer than that. But for the short amount of time, you got some incredible musicianship, state-of-the-art musicianship. I love the lyrical content. I love the production. I love the riffs. I love the drum work. This is just an absolutely hard-working band, and they have proven it time and time again with the two full lengths that they've put out. Now, moving forward to now, we have the third full length from Gridlink, and from what I understand, this is going to be the last Gridlink release for a very long time, so... Who knows what the future will hold for a band such as Gridlink. Anyways, it's 14 tracks and it clocks in at around 21 minutes in length. So technically this is the longest album that Gridlink have ever done. And in this album being only 21 minutes in length, there seems to be a bit more depth and detail that gets put into this particular album things seem to be a little bit more dramatic. Things seem to be a little bit more harder working. And in doing so, I honestly think that if this is going to be the last Gridlink release for a while, I'd say they've concluded their career as Gridlink with an absolute bang and exclamation point. They have put their thumbprint in the grindcore world, and they are really making themselves well-known here with uh, Long Hanna. I think this album is a masterwork of, of, of technical contemporary grindcore, and I really, really love what's being done here with this album. It is just absolutely mind-blowing and beautiful to listen to. Um, as particular with any sort of grid link release, the guitar work on here is very, very clean, very, very technical sounding, and the way that it gets done here just really sounds so smooth. I love the fact that Takafumi Matsubara has really aligned himself as a dominating force within the last within the previous gridlink releases and now being more evident in here with long henna the riff work here is absolutely tremendous i love the chord progressions the leads very very unique and interesting sounding i mean songs like constant autumn uh stay without me talibas the dodonpak chi excuse me the dodonpachi yeah, just, just some really, really interesting and unique riff work going on here. It's very fast and almost difficult to keep up with at times, but yet the riff work here is just tremendous here. He really has put on another clinic here, and with um, with Longhenna, it really just shows you why he is such a skilled guitar player. Uh, as far as the bass is concerned, I think the bass is very, very well well layered here. Very good, smooth bass tone all the way throughout. More likely than anything, this is a clinic for Takafumi Matsubara, but uh, Ted Patterson's bass work here is very, very good. It definitely keeps 
keep th keeps things very level-headed and smooth when it comes to the base work on here. I really applaud him for the way that he that he handles himself here and keeps things moving along steadily. Um, moving on to the drums, I don't know if I've ever said it before, but I'll say it again just in case. I think Brian Fajardo is one of the best, if not the best, drummer in grindcore today. He is such a hardworking man for for the kind of grindcore drumming style that he puts out. Being in so many bands that he's in, it is just exhaustive the amount of hard work and efforts and detail he puts into this album, into the albums he does. And with uh, Longhenna, he delivers another sensational drum performance here. I love the the drum fills that he does, the blast beats, the the syncopations and rhythms. They really, really sound good here. I love the snare tone that's on here. It sounds amazing here. Definitely well well produced for a well produced drum performance. The way that he sounds, he is a great drummer, and he definitely makes an effort to showcase why he is such a great drummer with this particular album. Uh, yeah, and I like the inclusions of violins being used here. I believe that um, towards the very beginning of this album, and in certain other instances, there's an instance of uh, violin work being done here. Adds a little bit of a human sorrowful type of of element to this album's concept and style, and I think it's really, really amazing what uh, what usage of the violin is being done here. And now we move on to the vocals. John Chang is a master storyteller, and he has been weaving story after story with every single Gridlink release that he's put out. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, he recently put out a science fiction novel. I think you can look it up on Amazon or something like that. Really goes to show you the amount of detail and, and research that he puts into his lyrics. Very thrilling, very provocative lyrical content. And with Long Henna, he really continues on delivering the the beautiful lyrical content that he that he knows how to do. He did that with such ease and effort with Orphan, and with Longhenna, I think not only does he prove himself lyrically, but vocally, he is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, his, his his screams are absolutely recognizable. His He has a great growl to his voice, done with a lot of manic intensity. I love the way his vocal style sounds. It is very, very good. His screams are great. His growls are great. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, someone who used to be in the band Asuk does some vocal work on the track uh, uh, Chalk Maple. Yeah, I think that's the track, Chalk Maple. I think I think it's absolutely amazing, the vocals that are on, going on in that particular track. But yet, I think it's really, really incredible the the amount of detail that he puts into the vocal and lyrical content, preferably with the closing lines of the track, Look to Windward, which is about three minutes long and is really the longest song on this album. Strangers Forever, Cross That Bridge, Look to Windward, Go On Alone, Strangers Forever, Alone With Yourself, Look to Windward with Regret and Tears. Just some really, really deep lyrical content and pretty much kind of a, a sombering note to end the album on. I think it's really, really insane, the, the lyrical content and depth that's being put on this record. But um, enough of my ramblings now. Uh, if you are a fan of what Gridlink have put out in the past, I definitely say this is the pinnacle of what Gridlink have been putting out for a long time now. I honestly think this is not only one of the best grindcore albums of this year, but one of the best extreme music, metal, whatever genre you choose to refer to it as, for Long Henna. I think this album is absolutely stunning. I love it. I love the pace. I love the speed. I love the thoughtfulness of the lyrical content. It is just absolutely stunning what's being done here. Um, yeah, if you're a fan of this stuff, be, make an effort to buy it. It is definitely worth owning, regardless of how short it is. It is worth owning. Uh, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Constant Autumn, Stay Without Me, Thai Boss, um, Thirst Watcher, which is an instrumental track on here, I think sounds really good. Uh, the Dodon, the Dodon, Dodon Pachi, uh, Black Prairie, uh, Island Sun, Look to Windward, just some really great tracks. Uh, I'm going to leave you some links in the description box to the Handshank. Handshake Inc. Bandcamp page, where you can stream this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judges to think, 
Be your own judge as to whether you feel it's worthy of being purchased or not. The vinyl version of this album is available through Handshake Inc. I believe it is very limited to black and uh, and uh, green vinyl copies. I don't, I don't know if it's green or not, but it's a teal kind of color. Really cool vinyl color. And Self May God released the CD version, which is a six-panel digipack. Uh, lyrics on here, credits on this side, photography, all that other good stuff. Pick it up however you're able to. Uh, so I'm going to show you the album again. This is Long Henna by Gridlink. This is released on CD through Self Made God Records, on vinyl through Handshake Inc. Definitely make it a mandatory effort to purchase this. And I'm going to give this the highest score I can possibly give. And that is a perfect 10 out of 10. This is contemporary grindcore personified and perfected by Gridlink. I think this is an absolutely amazing album. But hey, that's just me. That's how I feel about it. And if uh, let me know what you think if you've heard it. So uh, I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for joining my channel. And until the next time, Army Out.